Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, of the long-awaited Season 2 of Shane Shatters Presents Classic Indies. Some of the great independent wrestling action over the Mid-Atlantic area over the course of 35 years. Of course, I'm Shane Shatters, and I'm your host. You see before you something very special, something very near and dear to my heart. This before you is the North American Wrestling Association Championship Belt, which later became South Atlantic Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship Belt, which ultimately became the NWL Heavyweight Championship Belt. And that's, I am one of the very proud men who have had the opportunity to wear this belt to the ring, amongst many others, such as the Raging Bull Manny Fernandez, Tatanka, Paul Jones, the Tennessee stud Robert Fuller, Ken Shamrock, Helmut Hessler, and of course, Neil the Power Superior, my mentor. And I thought it would be great to kick season two off with a little bit of explanation, a little bit of background. Present this championship belt, which has been under wraps for 25 plus years. And I've had the privilege and opportunity to borrow this championship belt from Neil Superior's mother, Pat, a wonderful lady who has helped me and gave me access to so much of this archive that you saw in season one and some of the stuff that you're going to see here now in season two. What we're going to do here for the next couple of episodes is we're going to kind of bring you up the, the chase for the championship, the opportunity that Neil Superior had when he entered the South Atlantic Pro Wrestling area as he started to move his way up the ladder, kind of get out of the uh, tri-state Maryland, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Virginia area and expanded further south as he tried to build his reputation up. What we're going to start off with this week is a match that took place on South Atlantic Television uh, as Neil takes on a very formidable tough guy by the name of Rough House Graham. Time limit. Catch Weighing the ring in at 271 now. pounds from Buffalo, New York, Rough House Graham. Formidable. And his opponent, weighing in at 265 pounds from Hagerstown, Maryland, Neil Superior. Look at the development. Neil was always in tremendous condition. He was definitely taking this opportunity uh, to start getting on some regional right, television man, programs. You will in the background hear the, the voice of the great Bob Cotto. I'm probably just going to step in just a little bit and let Bob call the action here. Neil Superior, also a big one, but I tell you, much better proportion than his rough. Oh, hold on to that headlock. Graham shows you how powerful he is, though, as he holds right under that headlock. But Superior is going to try to whip him into the ropes, and again. I think that just shows the power Boy, of Rough House yeah, Graham, that a guy as strong and powerful as Neil couldn't just push the headlock off Good at this early stage in the match. As Superior. Again, he's going to back him to the ropes, and again, he tries to fling him Ooh. off, and again, Graham holds on. There's a pretty good display of power right there. That guy's a fire plug. Big clothesline. This guy is really rough and tough, as we talked about. Roughhouse Graham, who will maul you, brawl you, beat you. Can he haul him up this quick? Taking him up? Oh, 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 Roughhouse trying to grab the ropes. That's pure power right there. That's pure power. Pardon the pun. I forget that. I think that referee's name's Brandon. I think I worked a card for him in Martinsburg one time. He did like an independent show. Roughhouse living up to his name here now. Oof. Come on, Raf. And not only that, he's got a lot of good moves he can put on you and put on you in a hurry. But he's going to be, if he ties up and stays in close to Roughhouse Graham, he's going to be pretty for relentless. a long evening, believe me. As we say, this guy who is a veteran, he's going to beat you any way he can. And he I can't believe it. Neil doesn't have the better conditioning one. here. That's another thing about Roughhouse Graham. He'll get in there and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and mix it up with you. Oh, he gave up the hold. I'm a little surprised at that. Knee again, right to the base of the neck from behind. And when you get 271 pounds and all of that power behind you with that knee, I think he suffered. Right I think maybe he suffered a little bit of from some, some travel lag here. He's he's looking a little. I mean, honestly, Neil's looking a little. You know, remember Roughhouse, Roughhouse allegedly from Buffalo, New York, but certainly living in the Carolinas at this time. Neil was living in Hagerstown, so this was a lot longer of a drive for Neil than. Oh, uh, now he's was well, he biting. 
you can see where Roughhouse uh, earned his uh, his name. Left hand. It looked like an uppercut. Just relentless with, and with brutal tactics. Brutal Boy, tactics. Superior reeling. Another big snapmare. It has been Roughhouse Graham. He has really turned it on with the offense against Neil Superior. He got Superior hurt. And he has been right on top of him. Superior has really had trying to, to actually fight his way out of a hole right now. He dug himself a hole in the opening moments of the match. And has been trying to get out of it ever since. A couple of good moves there to the midsection. Graham now down on a knee. Oh, that one landed good. That landed good. Cover. If you've noticed, Neil has kept, when he was in that chin lock, when he's down, he's always tried to keep his hands up. He taught us in training that it was always important to try to keep your hands up. Always protect yourself. Always defend. That didn't, that wasn't pretty. That was not pretty. And can he hold him? Well, it'll be interesting to see what Graham does. If he will turn in, try to stand up. You go to work on that arm here now. Really go to work on that arm. I felt those knees. Look at those knee drops. There's a third one now, right down across the arm muscle. He's been working on that arm. Oof. Again, Graham with that tape around those knuckles on that right hand. And he, he can really deal you a lethal blow. You can see some of the lag here, quite obviously. I mean, there's a certain amount of, I think there's a certain amount of fatigue involved here. Neil had earned his reputation in coming into South Atlantic, and they told him that if he could he could come in and defeat some of these more solid opponents, that he would be getting his uh, championship opportunity as as time developed against whoever held the championship. And at the time, the German uh, Helmut Hessler was the champion, and they made like a, for a natural opponent. However, Hessler was signed up to have a series of matches against not only the Patriot, but the Chief Wahoo McDaniel. So it was very possible that Neil was coming into this area and may have to face fellow fellow fan favorites. And I'm not so sure how that might have turned out a little bit. I mean, Wahoo was a little bit on in years, but the Patriot was getting ready to really hit his, hit his prime um, as it took to uh, pro wrestling. Irish whip here by, by oh, don't forget to call the hotline, fans. 1-900-772-SAPW. The first minute is free. 190-95 uh, each additional minute. Kids under 18 need parental permission, and it will be billed to your telephone company. All right. Some exciting South Atlantic pro wrestling news awaits you at 900-772-SAPW. Free gift. I don't know if this hotline's still up, somebody. If somebody wants to call it and give me some feedback on it, now Neil's firing him in. Oh, handful of face. Oof. Oh. Oh, caught him on the breastbone. Roughhouse is going to, oh, he's going to go for it here. Two. No, he didn't get it. He didn't get it, but I certainly seems like he thinks he did. The referee's trying to tell him that the match is not over. Neil has regained his bearings. Oh, slide up behind him. The big school blinds. Two, three, he got him. He got him and a victory here this week by Neil the Power Superior as he builds his way up the ladder and an opportunity awaits him for the South Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. Here you're seeing the replay. The referee's not really watching. Roughhouse is balanced, but he caught, he must have caught a glimpse of it. Neil slides up behind him with the schoolboy, the number one finisher in professional wrestling. Here's an, oh, let's catch the interview. Let's go back to the interview. Check these guys out. Here's Bob Cottle, Neil Superior. Who's that other guy? Well, that's Rob Van Dam. That was a good one up there, that rough house. Graham, he's a tough customer. I tell you what, I heard from some of my friends in the locker room, the Patriot, and people like that. And that man's been around the block. Yeah. And more, more definitely, I can tell you one thing. He is one tough customer. I feel very fortunate to come out on top tonight. Well, I tell you, that guy likes to get in there. He likes to brawl. He'll fight you. He wants to beat you any way he can. Not that he wants to beat up on an opponent. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to, I'm used to wrestling overseas, more scientific style. So, yeah, this really threw me for a loop having someone like him on top of me tonight. Well, I think it was great, and you came out, came out great. And speaking of scientific, 
Rob, I tell you, the fans are loving it. And I Catch a word from Rob Van Dam. I do. I really appreciate them, and I want everyone to know that. I appreciate them being behind me. I hope they stay behind me the whole way. I tell you, it looks like the, the opponents are going to get tougher and tougher as I'm climbing up yeah, that ladder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They I, do. You know, I, any doubt about that. I expected that. And I just he definitely developed a better <laughs> as, as he went along, didn't he? But I'm going to keep going. I don't care how tough they are. He was still known as Robbie V then, I believe. All the way up. Going after that title. Well, I tell you, you're talking about the competition getting tougher. It does. And I know that both of you uh, have seen that. And you've seen Absolutely. some of the competitors. You've seen the Hustler. You know what you got to face when you meet a guy like him. I know. It. That's, uh, that's exactly what I'm going after. That's my goal right there. And I, I am I'm watching him. I'm watching his matches, seeing how he wrestles, because I'm going to end up on the opposite side of the ring from him, scoring off of him, and I'm going to be ready for it when that comes. He's a big one. He's a tough one. I tell you, you got to use Absolutely. Bob Cotto could carry anybody, couldn't he? That's big and that's strong. Well, Clearly, I Rob Van Dam's not a <laughs> polished you know, promo guy yeah, at this Bobby point, and Rob, Bob Cotto could just carry him. They're one of the great pros. That means a lot. Talking about matching power. You can match power in there with most any of them, can't you, Neil? Well, I pride myself for trying to be in top physical condition. There's a lot of guys bigger than myself. Helmet Hustler's one of them. Well, well, there you go. All righty. So I think that's going to, uh, in conclusion here, you saw Neil Superior take the measure of uh, Roughhouse Graham in uh, one of his early matches in South Atlantic Pro Wrestling as he has been brought into the promotion under the proviso that he, as long as he continues to achieve victories, he will ultimately get his championship shot. That's going to do it for this episode of Shane Shatters Presents. We'll see you next week.